Greetings everyone. Today my topic of discussion is sustainable tourism. Okay, so what is sustainability? Uh, for tourism um, to be to maintain uh, sustainability is the ability to stay constant. Okay, so whatever you uh, I mean uh, as you see day to day uh, hotels are coming up like mushrooms so many uh, the, the biodiversity the ecological uh, balance I mean like everything is going haywire if you see like all the concrete uh, jungle coming up now right so uh, people are setting up uh, a lot of industries and factories and then uh, a lot of pollution so the natural beauty of a place is like um, totally, totally, uh, it's a kind of harassment towards nature, okay? So not only the uh, beautiful natural resources are like taken into account, but then um, the animals, you know, so the animals are mostly caged and then uh, uh, just to make the, I mean, uh, it's like, uh, it's now like a showpiece for the visitors to see animals caged, right? So, these things, uh, more examples like, uh, um, if I have to talk about our local place, like we have the Tista, uh, it was, uh, before it was like the white waters, you know, a lot of rafting activities going on there. So it had its own natural beauty. The river flowing is, uh, uh, they have their own natural beauty. But then now when they put dams, you know, so a lot of chaos. I mean, it's affecting a lot to the natural thing. So. All these things, like uh, whenever, whatever businesses uh, you put up, like for industries or hotel industries, tourism, you know, all these things have to be kept in mind so that we do not distract the natural beauty of the place. Okay, so in this context, like um, here, I, I would still talk about Kalimpong because. Uh, it's a hilly area, you know, see all the greenery everywhere, you know, a lot of deforestation going on right now, all, uh, a lot of construction, if you see, in and around the town area and uh, wherever the remote areas also, everywhere, everywhere, like uh, people are coming and uh, trying to make huge structures, okay? So, a concept of uh, ecological uh, tourism can also be done, actually. So, these days people are uh, like more into having homestays where the tourists come and then uh, they uh, try to learn the local products, local food, locally how people live, you know, in the rural areas here. like. Mostly, uh, people flock to the homestays these days because uh, it keeps the cultural uh, thing alive, you know, the culture of the people. And then um, uh, you like uh, what do you call this when you are um, come uh, going to a certain place as a tourist, you like to learn like the real picture of the place okay not that uh, uh, something is uh, uh, put up like a, a big factory industry for something like it's put up and then okay let's go and see it's not like that okay so traveling is uh, mostly for leisure and uh, when you go to a certain place you go for relaxation right so uh, that way you like to have a very eco-friendly environment, right? So, there are a lot of benefits 
to have the benefits of sustainable tourism development okay so developing new businesses firstly I'll just read it out and then later all combinedly like I'm going to explain so developing new businesses expanding job opportunities increasing income marketing new products improving infrastructures encouraging diversification integrating local economy promoting community pride higher quality of life for local population so when i start with the higher quality life for local population so whenever we uh, start up a new business like the local people has to, like uh, in hotels also like uh, since uh, we are talking about the hospitality and tourism in hotels also people uh, the hr department makes sure that uh, uh, most of the local people are also engaged in work there okay be it like uh, whether the country is uh, very um, i mean uh, they have very good uh, income you know so that way also if the local people are also engaged then it brings a lot of uh, um, boost to the tourism department okay because they have uh, many ideas about the local places the local places of interest okay so everything comes into act and then uh, uh, slowly like uh, we have a lot of benefits there so uh, encouraging diversification integrating local economy so all these things like um, if the ecological balance and biodiversity is taken care of then uh, there is a much higher uh, chances of having a better attractive tourism i mean tourist places here okay so not only here in other places also but uh, and then Quickly, I would like to talk about um, okay. the three main areas of sustainable tourism. Okay, one is the human welfare, as I said. Tourism should affect the locals positively, economically, in a way that preserves local people, nature and wildlife in the long run. Locals should have all their basic needs covered before tourists. Locals and their customs should always be respected by tourists. Prices should not rise to a level where locals can't afford life. Okay, so this is what I was explaining a little while ago. It is the human welfare is also something that is very important to be taken care of and like I said the animal welfare wildlife should not be affected by tourism only observed so when the animals are running freely in the jungle and then people capture them and then put them in the zoo and then mm, the tourists are flocking in just to see the animals you know what kind of life the animals they have like in the COVID uh, the corona that we are having right now we did compare ourselves with the animals right so these things affect a lot so we should not uh, like uh, we should not bound them uh, into such situation where they cannot move around freely okay so animals are supposed to be in the jungle so they are left they are they should be left in the jungles okay so the next one is natural preservation nature should always be protected uh, can be used by future generations numbers of visitors to nature areas should be government controlled to avoid degradation and uncontrolled amounts of non-degradable waste okay so when the tourists flock in you have a wonderful beautiful place you know so 
the tourists also should be given proper directions like uh, you're not allowed to uh, you eat something and then they just throw it here and there litters everywhere you see so that is also going to affect the place okay and then people spitting everywhere if you see you should control that so all these things are like uh, to preserve the nature you need to have um, uh, proper guidelines to the tourist coming into your place as well okay so this is how we can uh, have a sustainable tourism in a place so that's it for today thank you very much and stay safe